There are a couple of reasons for importing caption files into a video editing software like Premiere Pro. The first reason is to change the caption color, alignment, and position on screen. The second reason is to bring your captions into your video, and these are called open captions. For this example, we're going to use the .srt or subrip format. Before we start importing the caption file into Premiere Pro, we have to adjust the caption import settings. You can access the caption import settings in the caption panel. To open the caption panel, go to Windows and select Captions. In the caption panel on the bottom left, press the Import Settings button. This will open the caption import settings. Select the import file type as Subrip Subtitle Format, or SRT. Here are some important settings to keep in mind. Standard and Stream under the Video Settings. Standard has a few listed broadcasting standards used around the world. The most common standards are CEA 608 and CEA 708. These are widely used standards and are accepted on sites like YouTube. If you're planning to burn your captions into your video, then you can choose Open Captions. If you select Open Captions, you will notice that the Stream option is disabled. For this example, we're going to use the CEA 608 standard and CC1 Stream. After you're done with the caption import settings, it's time to enable captions in the preview panel and change the closed caption display settings. Go to the settings icon on the bottom right of the preview panel. Go to closed caption display and select enable. Follow the same steps, but instead of enable, select settings. Make sure the standard and stream match the import settings. For this example, we're gonna use the CEA 608 standard and the CC1 stream. If you're importing as open captions, you can skip this step. Now it's time to import your captions into Premiere Pro. After you open your Premiere Pro project, there are two ways you can import the captions. You can drag and drop it into the project panel, or you can go to the file menu and select import. Drag the caption clip into your timeline. You'll notice when I play the sequence, the captions are not synced. This is because the first five seconds of the scene is completely silent. This doesn't mean that your captions are not synced to your video, it just means that your caption clip and video clip are not synced in your timeline. An easy way to fix this is to select the video clip and the caption clip, right click and select synchronize. In the synchronize clips menu, select the time code option and press OK. Now your video clip and caption clip are in sync. In the next video, we're going to talk in detail about editing your captions.